Okay, let's talk about how to retopologize your mesh. And we're going to use Maya to retopologize, and then we're going to bring it back into ZBrush, and we're going to reproject all this detail onto our original um, retopologized. So if you look at this, I can see that this um, T Rex is, he's, sub, he's six um, subdivisions right now. And if I bring it all the way down to uh, level one, if I look at his poly, um, this is just an original or just, this is just kind of um, a Z remesh that I did just to get something kind of going. Um, so the topology isn't like terrible, but I feel like if we look at his neck, I can see that it kind of like buckles here. Um, there's some weird things that I just want to kind of control better. I want, you know, better kind of rings around the neck um, and so on and so forth. So I feel like the Z remesher is a good way to start, but let's say you're not happy with that. Now what's next? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy into Maya. And I want, um, if I hover over this, I can see that this guy is, uh, actually looks like 5.8 million, which is, um, that doesn't look exactly right. Um, that's, oh, that's total poly. It's okay. So he is, um, well, let's see. Okay, so I can see that that's uh, 63,000, uh, 15,000. So he's about 16,000 at this level. Um, oh 255,000 at this level. And um, so I could even afford probably bringing him in this level here into Maya. Um, Maya's, Maya will be fine, probably up to 500,000 even in Maya or even more. Um, what I suggest is if you bring it in and it slows down, then um, come back here and make it smaller. And another trick that you can do is you can go into Z plugin and you can decimate it. Okay, and I'll do a different video about decimation, but decimating it is another way to make it smaller but yet maintain detail. Okay, because really the only thing we need is something to trace. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll even bring in this level and I'm gonna say export and I'm gonna just save this as obj underscore t-rex and hit save. Now, I just exported the, um, the body. I did not export the tongue and the, or the teeth. Realize those are separate subtools. If I look at my subtools, I can see that I have different subtools here. Um, so if I wanted to bring those in, I would have to select that, hit export, and I would go OBJ bottom teeth. And click on this one, export OBJ top teeth. Okay. And if he had eyes, um, I would bring those in as well. So now if, um, I come over here to Maya. I can see that um, it's like one of those cooking shows. It's already ready. I imported him. So I imported the OBJ, the dense OBJ here. I also imported the OBJ of the mouth and the teeth. And now what I would do is I would select on this and I'm gonna go to um, up here. I'm gonna click on the magnet and that's gonna make it live. So if I click on that, I have to have this mesh selected first before I click on the magnet, and then it's gonna make this a live surface. And when it turns dark green, I can see that it's live. Now I can go into my um, uh, toolkit over here, this first icon. And when I click on that, it's gonna bring up quad draw. And then I would be able to quad draw. So here, here it is down here, quad draw. And all of my shortcuts for quadra are hidden right down here. So now what I could do is I could start clicking on here. I'm going to click four times and then if I hold down shift in between and click it's going to create a polygon. And if I do another time, hold down shift, hold down shift, 
And you can see that now I only need to do two because it's going to connect to the previous two. Okay. And if I need to insert a line, I'm going to hold down control and that's going to insert. If I need to move an edge, I can grab an edge or a point and move it. If I uh, hold down tab, I can bring this out. Whoop. And that's going to work better. Let's say if I kind of started coming down here. And now if I hold down tab and middle mouse, I can kind of go like this. I can start kind of um, bringing that out. And what I would suggest is uh, look at good topology, OK? And going online, going to Sketchfab, and looking at um, wireframe or going to ArtStation and looking at wireframe of whatever you're trying to model. And the goal is that I'm going to have good topology that goes over the entire character. And if I spend some time doing it, this would be my end result here. Okay, so you can see that I took some time and I retopologized this guy. Okay, and this is the topology that I came up with. And if we look here, I can see that uh, there's just nice loops around the neck. I can see that there's nice loops around the arm. Okay, and those loops follow all the way through. There's loops around the fingers. Um, there's a loop around the eye. So that means that if I'm going to UV map this, if I'm going to do um, animate it, everything's going to kind of move correctly, okay, and deform correctly. Um, then at this point, I could also UV map it. So if I go to my UV editor here, uh, this is how I have this UV mapped. And this is a UDIM workflow where normally we have all the UVs in this quadrant, but on, in this particular one, I decided to have used multiple quadrants and use what's called a, a UDIM workflow. And if I check my checkers, um, I can see that all the checkers are laid pretty flat, and that looks good. I'm going to look inside the mouth. Notice he doesn't have his teeth or anything considered on there. If I do select these, I can see that these are also considered in the, um, the UDIMs. And then also his eyes as well, I believe. His eyes are right here. Okay, But I'm only concerned about the skin right now. So this is not a UV mapping tutorial. This is more about um, what do you do after you retopologize it. And then um, I would suggest to UV map it. Okay, is the next step. However, once you're done with all of that, now what? Okay, how do we get this topology back into ZBrush? Okay, so that's what I'm gonna show. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy here and I'm going to export this. I'm gonna say export selection. And I'm gonna call this um, OBJ Maya T-Rex. And I'm just gonna leave all this off and hit export selection. Okay. Now if I go into ZBrush, I have whoop, uh, this guy, and if I come in here, let's see, go into Geometry, got to make sure I'm on the correct subtool here. There it is. So this guy, and if I bring him up, I can see that he's got all of his detail. Okay. And you'll say, well, he doesn't have all of his detail. He doesn't have his scales and all that, that kind of stuff. And I feel like I will usually retopologize um, kind of 90% through. I feel like he's got his main forms. He doesn't have all of his detail, but I'm better off to do that detail after I retopologize. Okay. And once again, I'm just trying to get him better topology. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and import that new one that I created from Maya. So under Subtool, I can see once again, here's, uh, here he is, this guy. And I'm going to go to Append. And I'm just going to append anything. I'm going to append a sphere. And that just gives me something to click on. So I'm going to click on this, and it's going to override that. So I'm going to go ahead and Import. And I'm going to choose OBJ Maya T-Rex. There it is. Open. And um, I should turn the auto save off. But 
Now what that's going to do is it's going to bring in the, um, and if it, if it hides, I'm just going to click and drag. There we go. Um, and I can see that my Maya one is in the exact position of the other one. So that's important that it stays in the exact position. And what I like to do is I like to move this right underneath this one. So to do that, I'm just going to click and drag it right up there. There he is. And um, I'm going to turn these other ones off. And now I'll just have this one and this one. So, and I'm going to take the time right now and I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this um, Detail Bad Geo. And then I'm going to call this um, Rename. I'm going to call this Good Topo for, for Good Topology. Okay, so this guy's got Detail but he's got bad geometry. And then this guy's got good topology, um, but no detail. Okay, so now I need to project the, the detail on the other one. And right now I can see that if I go to this one, he is at 16 million. If I want this guy to accept that detail, I have to select this one. If I go to geometry, I'm going to divide up to 16 million. So I can see that, that this guy is at 11,000. And I'm going to divide him up to whatever the other guy was. So once again, this guy is at, uh, I think, 16 mil. And it doesn't have to be exact. I mean, just roughly, okay, 3, three mil, 11.99. Uh, that, that's probably pretty good, okay? So I'm thinking about, I kind of think about the my mesh now shrink wrapping to the other detail, okay? So that's kind of the idea. And I need enough density to be able to shrink wrap to the other one. That's how I think about it. So once again, if it disappears, just kind of move it or press F to frame up on it. Now, if I go into Subtool, I have my bad one yet with good detail. My bad geo is visible. I have my good topology selected. Now I'm going to come down here to Project. And I'm going to hit Project All. And up here, it's going to show me the progress, and I want to be careful that I don't click. I'm just going to let it think. And at the end of this process, the, um, the detail should be transferred to the other one. So I'll just go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so after um, a few minutes, it projected, and I can see that it now fits the other model. So if I look at this one, this was 16 mil, uh, this one's I think 11.9, and but now I can hide the other one and it should look identical. So now if I come down here to geometry, if I bring this down to level one, and if I turn on the poly F, I can see that it has, I'm just going to turn off the fill, It this is the identical geometry that I had in um, Maya, but if I bring my subdivisions up, now it has the detail that I had in ZBrush. So now I'm um, eligible to continue sculpting on this character. I can add detail and I don't have to worry about kind of retopologizing. Realize that maybe some things might get lost in translation. Um, it might not be a perfect, perfect match. Um, so realize you may have to sculpt over some things here and there. Um, and if, let's say if the tips of the fingers were giving me a lot of trouble, I could mask them off before I did the projection. And then, um, and then it would be fine. I mean, it I would still have to rework those, but at least it wouldn't have like holes in or something like that. So hopefully that was helpful um, to look at how we could retopologize, and then 
uh, bring that in and then reproject the detail back in ZBrush.